Hey squids, Michelle here reporting from Squid Kids with yet another tip to keep you staying fresh. Today we'll be focusing on an integral part of Splatoon, movement. As many would agree, Splatoon yields a smooth experience. From the rapid transforming in and out of squid mode and inkling form, to swimming through your Michelangelo ink sprays. Considering the smooth gameplay, let's discuss movement in a number of ways. Let's begin with the most basic of all methods. Simply shooting with your weapon of choice allows a path you can swim through. Each weapon varies in its range and splat, which a player will grow accustomed to depending on their selective choice. Some weapons may provide a long path to swim off the bat, like the charger, and others are more short range but paint rapidly, which allows you to quickly hop out of squid mode and continue bursting ink. Even weapons with slow firing rates such as the blaster can still utilize this method since it paints a long line in front of you, similar to the charger weapons. Next method is splatter dashing. For those who do not know, splatter dashing is shooting ink on the ground swimming as a squid to the end of your splattered ink, and popping out of squid mode rapidly to shoot more ink once again. And you can repeat this process to your desire. This technique is great for higher grounds that allow you to ink for turf while maneuvering through vantage points, or even in rank to provide safe turf to move around in while engaging your opponents. Splatter hopping is another familiar term for Splatoon players, and this also incorporates entering and exiting squid mode rapidly. Splatter hopping is painting the ground, then squid jumping with momentum, shooting once again, then squid mode, and repeat. This tactic is best used for defensive purposes. If you find yourself in an unfavorable situation, simply shoot ink around you and retreat with splatter hopping. It's perfect for maneuvering an enemy ink and finding a more advantageous position. For some weapons, like the Splattershot Jr., this method may be faster than swimming through your weapon's range in acquiring certain positions. There are other uses of squid mode that could help. Even the basic mechanic itself is good as it is. Hiding in ink to get an unsuspecting foe is one tactic. You could also use squid mode to make it difficult for chargers and other opponents to hit you. Our next point on movement is jump shots. Now, I know many of you have shared this experience of seeing an opponent jump and shoot while you struggle on the ground and heroically attempt to take him or her out just to be disappointed yet again. <sighs> How did that hit me? Come on, that's f- <laughs> It's not supposed to have range. Well, does it really increase range? The answer is yes. Jump shots increase the arch of a weapon's ink and it allows you to sneak in hits when an opponent is just outside your grounded range. It can be used to finish off an opponent if you manage to get some hits on them, and then jump shot to get that finishing hit. Jump shots can also be used defensively. As I mentioned before, hitting an opponent jumping as you try to adjust your aim is much more difficult than one who's grounded. So, use this to be the one that's harder to hit instead. Although all guns benefit from this, short range burst guns may have an answer to their range shortcomings. It's also great to pair a forward jump shot with an arrow spray or a splatter shot junior and really get into your opponent's face. Lastly, it's all about creativity. Splatoon is a game that gives us a decent amount of freedom. It is unlike many other shooters out there. One major difference is the ability to climb up walls. This mechanic can be used for a variety of approaches as opposed to only coming up from the ground. Walls can give us alternative routes to advance on foes. Jumping off walls to get to opponents is a good surprise attack, especially when the opponent is looking to take you out from around the corner. Here are some examples of thinking out of the box. Alright guys, we're almost done, but here's a look on suggested power-ups for those players who focus on movement. Opening Gambit. This is great to use if you are a territorial player. It allows you to get to key points of the stage quicker than other players. Swim Speed Up. The increase in swim speed is quite noticeable and helps with splatter dashing, splatter hopping, or simply swimming through your ink. And of course, we can't forget about Ninja Squid a favorite amongst players, and for good reason. It makes it harder to detect a player in squid mode. Considering all the talk on squid mode in this video, Ninja Squid assists greatly on being harder to detect, harder to hit, and increases chances of surprise attacks. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe to see further tips and guides to help you stay fresh. Using the Y button to adjust angles is quicker than manually turning with the right stick, and allows you to zip through corners on stages like Port Mackerel. Not only that, but you can quickly change viewpoints